Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today is gonna to be another nail art organization video. And this is gonna be a compilation video. So you all are gonna see me organizing different things within my nail room. So you'll see me organizing everything from nail charms to gel liners to my nail tips, my nail tip stands to acrylics. So yeah, sit back, relax and enjoy. This is my current nail charm organization situation and i'm actually wanting to maybe move some things around to make room for all the new um new friends that my current charms have and then also i have some items stored in here which is just the old you know chocolate container that i repurposed for my nail art stuff um, but this isn't really working for me because the more of these I put in there the more it's not really it's not efficient for me having this in here so I want to try to get all this stuff sorted in a way that makes sense for me I do have this organization container that I got from my local Dollar Tree and I really like this container because it does have like different sections for how you can organize things and so I am thinking that these circular little things here would go really good in this container right here. I just feel like it's like the perfect size for it. And this is adjustable too. So I'll probably end up taking these two slots out and just like, you know, filling it up all the way across. So let's see what we got here for that. Let me zoom out a little bit so you all can have a better view. So first, let me move all this stuff to the side. This container here is where I have a majority of these at. So I want to go ahead and essentially take them from here and then put them over here. So I am gonna go ahead and take these slots out to make space for it. And I think I wanna just focus on putting like my paper type of um, embellishments or nail art in there. So I have a ton of like little ones that I hauled from Amazon that are Halloween themed. And I'm just gonna stack them um, kinda in order at least to the best of my ability here. The only thing I don't like about this option is that I really won't be able to see everything I have, but I just know that if I want to play around with like, you know, paper type items, I can just put them in here. I can just come here and search for it. And I know that I have Halloween and Christmas themed stuff. And I don't really have anything outside of that. So I'm just gonna go through and just stack them all the way through like so. Now these are like multicolored flowers here. So I might or might not leave that in here. We'll see, maybe like different theme ones I'll put in a different section. And then I have Fimos. No, I'm gonna just put it all like this. It's gonna make more sense. Okay. So, like that. So I like this better than how I had it over here. So in here though, I do like having the small clear containers in here. I feel like I can just, I can see everything at a glance, at least with these clear containers. So I, I am gonna keep these like it is for now. Just turn those upside down. And then so something like this that has Fimos in it, I'm gonna go ahead and just put that in here. Um, these I'm gonna take out and put, um, I'm gonna take out and put inside of my other one. Let's see, I'll take those out, take those out. So I think that's everything for, oh, okay, I got some rhinestones here. I'll put my rhinestones in here. And so, okay, so those make sense in here. I do kind of just want to be able to see everything. So since there's space, I'm gonna just spread everything out. This one is empty, I'll leave that here. Um, maybe since I have a couple of different rhinestone options, maybe I'll have it where, let's see. Put my starburst here, have a row of glitter here. So that's glitter. Um, yeah, that can stay here. Oh man, this one's opened. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even know this was open. Let me 
Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. This, maybe this isn't my day today. Okay. We're just gonna pour all of these in here like that. I didn't even know this was open though. That's unfortunate. Okay. Okay, so I got everything up. At least everything that I could see. If there's more little rhinestones, then I will have to grab them as I see them because yeah, y'all, I'm so mad that was open. But anywho, um, got that taken care of. So I'm gonna put this on here. Make sure your lids are tight if you all are gonna store items like this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back here. Got that. And I wanted to kind of keep rhinestones kind of going across here. And then maybe glitters down here. This is a female, where did the female go? This one is empty, so I'm gonna put that down here. So I like this better than having the white containers in there because I feel like I can actually just look at a glance and see everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up. Have this here. I think I wanna put this in a photo album. Yeah, I wanna put this in my photo album. This is like a stamping, a silicone stamping mat. And I have some other items similar to this. This album here. So in this album at the back, I have like miscellaneous things. So I have this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this silicone mat in front of that. Give that a home. Okay, so that's that. And here, I think that's it for this one here. So maybe I would just go ahead and put my divider back here so that it doesn't keep rolling around. Oh, cool. That's the, look how perfect that is. Awesome. So that works out better for me. And then um, I guess I can start storing charms in here. So I have these like little puff balls. I'm going to just put those in here. Okay. And I have these beautiful luxury teddy bears. I freaking love these things. Like, oh my goodness. So I'm going to store these in here. I think I want to store them next to the puff balls because I do plan to. Um, use these in a set together. Like my idea is to have like a little teddy bear on like one nail, right? And then a little puff ball like on the other, something like this. This is like the idea I have for a set. So yeah, we'll see if I can bring that vision to life. I have these random silver chunky charms. I think I'm gonna just put those at the bottom. open already. I think these are supposed to be like dangly charms. I just want to store these kind of, I'm going to just put these at the bottom here. I have two bags of them. These are some pretty cool shapes and stuff. I'm going to just put those in here. Okay. I have these teddy bears here and this contains got this container off of Amazon and it's just like a lot of random miscellaneous things in here now some of these are actually still in the plastic inside of the container and so I think I want to take some of these out and maybe put them in here just to kind of free up some of this so I can maybe store some of my other items here so like for instance these like mylar pieces here they actually are individually like packaged I'm just gonna move these out of here and maybe just store them in one you know section over here and then once I find where I really want to store them at then I'll come back and do that well actually maybe I'll just make this middle piece here all the random items that I need to further sort I'll just put all the miscellaneous stuff in here so then that just freed up this whole container I have the same thing with these rhinestones in this container here I'm just gonna take these out and put it here and then also here, there's some teddy bears. So what I will do is go ahead and fill the rest of that up with, with these teddy bears, okay? Like so. Perfect. And then I have butterflies here. And I actually think in this container here, there's more butterflies too. So I'm gonna consolidate that. Wow. That 
didn't go as planned. That's that for here. I do have some teddy bear charms here, so I'm gonna just take those out and just pour it in here. And then I also have some smaller teddy bears, but they're like the same color. So I'm gonna put those in there too. I have these brown teddy bears here. Okay, I'm gonna put those. I'm not gonna put those with the chunky ones because they might get lost. So I think I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put them there. No, I I'll just put them next to the other teddy bears. And I'm gonna just kind of set these, take all these items out just so I can kind of see them. This I'll use for something else. I'm actually um, in the process of making like my DIY charms. So I actually have some DIY charms here that I made right here. So I'll probably just store my DIY charms in here. Actually, let me go ahead and do that. These here are like some DIY charms that I made here with using some silicone molds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and store my DIY charms in here. Then as that grows, I can just continue to add like different things in that container. And so in this, I could probably repurpose to put like, you know, acrylic powders, like DIY acrylic powders and stuff in there. So that's that. I see I have more of these gummy bears. So I'm gonna put that in here with these. I do have these butterflies. And then I also have these butterflies and like flowers. I think I'm gonna put all these together in one section here. This is adjustable. Oh, this is adjustable too. I didn't realize that. I'm gonna put it in this centerpiece here. And I'm gonna mix them together because they're very similar butterflies. Like so. So I think that's it for this one here. I wonder should I empty this out along with this teddy bear one? I think I'm gonna move these here. And then here, I'm gonna put all of these other teddy bears cause I don't really need like all these different, I don't want them in separate places. So I'm gonna just put all of those in here. And then, okay. So I think that makes more sense. And then that frees up space here to put something else. Okay, happy people. So for the rest of this section of the organization, I was essentially just reorganizing and moving things around from these uh, four slot containers. I was combining things that were similar. So I had bow ties that were similar. I had some cherries that I had got from um, at two different times. And so I'm just combining things. So I ended up with a row of bows, um, a row of um, Valentine's Day themed items. Um, and then I tried to organize them, some by silver, some by gold, and I'm just shifting things, moving them around until it makes the most sense for me so that when I'm going to get my nail art supplies, um, I can easily find them. And that's the thing with this nail art organization, you guys. Um, you definitely wanna create a system that works best for you. Um, everybody's way of storing their nail supplies is gonna look different because um, how our minds um, you know, think about organization is all different. So you have to find the best storage option and method for you based on how you would um, naturally look for certain things. Um, and so yeah, I ended up putting some of my luxury charms into this and then I got some more cherries I put in here um, along with a few other random nail arts. So that's how I ended up storing this. I do have some pinwheels here. Got this, 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 and this. So these pinwheels, I am going to go ahead and further organize them into here. So let's see. Close. Okay, perfect fit. So that's that. I have this container here. So I'm going to just put that right here for now. And y'all, look at these butterflies though. I am in love with these. I have one on my nails right now. And it's just, I'm in love. I love these butterflies so much. So yeah, I have that here. Maybe these are going like that. Okay, so we'll stack that like that here. So that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and store 
like all of these empty ones just right here. Out of this container here, I am going to go ahead and just empty out some more of these slots. Like, there's more caviar beads in here, right? Those two. So I'm going to just put those in here until I figure out, like, what I want to do with them. Okay, happy people. So soon I'm going to get into showing you all how I organize some of my other nail art supplies. But here I'm just reorganizing more of these 24-slot uh, container and then what I have in the larger um, container with the adjustable storage compartments and so yeah while you all are watching me do this I just want to give you all a quick update on what's been going on with me and um, some changes I might be making to the channel so um, I don't know if you all remember but a few months ago I told you all that I was uh, taking a class and I was studying trying to get a certification for a new industry that I want to get into in my professional career and you guys it happened so I am officially certified um, it's in the technology field um, and so I'm super proud of that accomplishment um, and with that I have been interviewing and um, you know trying to secure a job in this field and I'm happy to announce that I did get a job offer recently. And so, yeah, you guys, I'm excited. But that does mean there's going to be some changes to the channel. I won't be able to upload as frequently because now I need to focus on working um, and getting acclimated to my new position. And so you all might not see me. I'm sure you all have already noticed by now, but I've not been uploading as frequently on my YouTube channel and I also have not been uploading nearly as much as I used to on my Instagram and that's because I'm just trying to take time to really focus on my new career path but that doesn't mean I'm going anywhere you all know that I recently launched my ancient cute though merch I am still going to be um, posting on my Instagram over there as well as um, keeping my inventory restocked I did recently get my new shirts in um, the restock for the colors that sold out at the launch and so I'm hoping that next week I can go ahead and get everything and upload it onto the website so that if you all want to purchase shirts you can um, so I, I will still be actively running my business in the background um, it's just I also have to focus on uh, my professional career as well in addition to that and so in regards to the channel what I want to try and continue to do is definitely bring you all those Amazon deals every Tuesday I want to try my best to keep my nail therapy Thursday premieres but in the event that I'm not able to premiere a video I still will try my best to upload on Thursdays and so um, that's going to be my plan for the channel right now and when I can I'll try to put an upload up on Saturday so that's kind of the plan I have for the channel right now but yeah you guys I'm super excited about this new career opportunity and I'm looking forward to this new position that I have and yeah I start uh, my my job next week and so yeah my focus is just going to be completely shifted at this point but I definitely wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's been going on with me and yeah let's get back into organizing trying to figure out what I want to do with all of my nail stands um, I'm trying to organize them and put them away uh, so that um, when I'm ready to use them, I have easy access to them, but also it just doesn't, because these are just kind of hard to store in general. Um, and I want to store them together with my glue dots. And so you all remember this container that I hauled from Dollar Tree a while back. Um, I was wondering what I could do with this container and now I know what I can. I am actually going to put um, my, um, my nail stains in here. Like, look how perfect this is. So I'm gonna put my nail stands in here like so. Okay. And then these, like this actually comes with this little piece that opens up. And over here is where I'm gonna put my tip set. So these actually, let's see, this set actually came with some nail tips here. So I'm gonna put that over here. I'm gonna take that off of this. Okay. And I'll put this one too. And I'm gonna put them back in this little baggie here. We got that in here. And then these tips right here, like obviously I'm gonna take like the nails off of them, but I plan on just storing these in there. Right, like so. Like that. Put this here. 
And look how nice and compact that is. I love this. So now, whenever I want to practice like my different nail tips, everything is in one location. So that's why I'm going to be storing this items for now. I really like this. It's perfect. I want to show you all how I plan to organize my gel art liner brushes. So this is the storage container that I got from Shein, okay? And it's exactly enough uh, spots for the amount of, well actually no it's not. So I think this holds 16 and I have 12 gel art liners here. So I'm going to put the 12 of them in here that will fit. And I'm going to try to put them in here in order. So I'm going to go through and just do that. So this is how I'm going to be storing my gel art liner brushes. They look so nice and neat and cute and organized. Well, that's some cool ASMR. <laughs> I'm going to do that again so y'all can listen to it. But yeah, this is really nice, cute and compact. Like, oh gosh, like I like how um, the actual gel liners have the gold, you know, lid to them. And then also on my storage container it has the gold lid. But yeah, y'all, this thing is kind of shaky. I'm going to show you all what I'm talking about here. So if I move it, it makes these weird noise. I don't know why they're so satisfying to me, but it is. I did purchase two of these from Shein, so as I get more, I'll add to the collection. So this is how I'm gonna store my gel art liner brushes here. I'm gonna be organizing some of my uh, liners that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, I have quite a few of these, and I recently discovered that these are actually good to use for stamping, so I wanted to organize them in this little um, organizer that I got from um, Shein. And this is my old organizer that I have. This one is already full, okay? And I do have some of those over here. For instance, this one. So I'm gonna just put that in here. Oops. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these over. I'm gonna put this one here. I think I'm gonna put the black and white up front one. And I'll save this spot. Oops, I'll save this spot for more gel liners. I actually um, have some more gel liners on the way, and so um, I might actually need to get another one of these. So we'll see about that. But this is about to be cool. So. Obviously these two are different, but for some reason they both say Flamingo with the same number and code. So I'm not sure, but I'm gonna keep both. Yeah, and I thought these were the same, but they're not, they're slightly different. So these are all of my regular polish liners. Oh, this one got one at the top. Yeah, so I am keeping these exclusively for stamping. Um, actually, I think I do have a second silver of these. So once I find it, I'll go ahead and probably fill this up with all regular polish liners. So these are all of my gel liners for now. Um, I'll put the more the rest of the gel liners here and then the re regular um, polish liners here. Um, but it's looking like I'm definitely gonna need more storage for my um, liner brushes in general. So I'll have to look into getting more of these from Shein.
Okay, so I just got these uh, new swatch sticks from Amazon. And with these, I um, plan to swatch my chrome powders, my reflective polishes, and um, different type of polishes where I want to see how they look against a white background, black background, and clear. And so I'm going to go ahead and prep a few of these swatch sticks. I'm going to do 10 total, and I'm going to try to always keep 10 prepped at all times. Um, but I'm just going to show four of them here on camera. Literally, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and put white at the top, black in the middle, and then I'm going to leave the bottom bottom clear to go through with a uh, white and black so I'm just using my white and black from Beatles and my reasoning for this is so that um, when I get ready to actually film my video um, I don't have to take the time to actually you know prepare swatch sticks so yeah that is exclusively what I bought these for and I'm like I said just gonna go through do a white at the top black in the middle and then I'm going to leave the bottom clear. And I really love the idea of these swatch sticks because I've actually swatched a couple of uh, like uh, reflective polishes. And it took me all day to do the swatches. And I used a ton of different swatch sticks. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cure this. And this will be my swatch stick for my chromes and my reflective polishes. So as I'm prepping the rest of these swatch sticks, I just wanted to let you guys know really quick that I do have a dedicated playlist for all of my organization um, in regards to my nail room as well as a nail room tour. If you all are curious about how my nail room looked about a year ago, I am going to leave that link down in the description box below as well as that playlist. And then I will also include links to all the products that I'm using and put them down in the description box below. I'm actually wanting to go ahead and store my Mission Control paints the way that I plan to keep them. I actually plan to keep them in these little acrylic drawers that I got from um, Dollar Tree. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take this little shelf out and put them all in here in order. So I'm not sure how many uh, fit in here at once, but I feel like red. So black, white, red, yellow, green, brown. Yellow, green, blue are probably going to be the most used colors. And red, brown. Um, so my Sonic Mega Jam. Actually, Sonic Mega Jam Fee is an overdrive. I'm going to keep in a separate container because I actually have these colors already over here. This is how I've uh, currently been keeping them. So I'm going to take all of these out and put them over here just because just so that I'll know which ones are open and which ones are closed. These are, oh. Just for Mega Jam. Okay, I fell off. Do it like this. So and then actually so this is a silver and a, a silver and a gold. So I want silver and gold to be in here. I'm trying to think. Purple is probably a color I probably won't use all that much. Let's see, taser, clutch. I think green, yellow, brown I'll definitely be using. Well, let me just keep it how it was. I'm gonna keep the Sonic in here. And then I'll put these glitter colors and all the extra colors in another one. This is one filled off. This is one filled up already. I do have a second one here, so I'm gonna take this out, and I'm gonna put the glitter ones in here. Okay, and then we'll do the, this. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that like that. Then I also have their loose glitters too. Oh, that's not gonna make sense to put in here. If I have any other gel pots, I'll put them in. Well, actually, I do. Well, hmm. I have these builder gels, but that don't make sense to put in here. So I'll leave that for now. I do have this detachable brush that came with my builder gels. And I'll just put that in the drawer when I find it. Yeah, so I'm going to leave that like this for now. These, like I said, are all extras. So Fizz, Overdrive, Sonic Mega Jam. I'm going to actually just store these away for later. So these would be my backups here. And I guess I'll just store them in this little container thingy here. So, like so. Okay. Alright. And yeah, okay. So this would be 
like my Young Nails Mission Control drawers then. So this one, and then we have this one. Yeah, that's perfect. And then I'll just need to find a way to, um, I want to attach these two together. So I'll find a way to attach them together so that they'll be like the two drawers. But yeah, this is how I'll be storing my Mission Control paints for now. So this pretty much wraps up the end of my nail art organization video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed how I stored all of my items. This is me just putting away some rhinestones and some empty storage containers. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!